Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Blind Nation. Hope everybody's doing good today. I want to give a shout out to all my wonderful subscribers out there. And uh, like I said, hope everybody's keeping a smile on your face, being happy, and all that good stuff. And uh, I think we are at three. I think we went up again since yesterday, but I'll have to double check again. Anyways, right here it is my coffee. By the way, guys. I uh, did not make it to the lake yesterday. Um, I ended up uh, going to my mom's, saw her for a while, and then did a wax into that. <laughs> I waxed it yesterday. Of course, I waxed it the day before yesterday, too. But I was like, ah, what the hell? I just, you know, it don't hurt. It don't hurt it. Um, could someone say, well, you already waxed it once. Hey, nothing wrong with keeping yourself looking good, right? Um, anyways, thought I had a hair on my lip. Um, I will be trying to get to the lake today for sure, guys. Uh, I want to be able to go down there and show you guys how pretty it is. And like I said, there's a couple places I like to go. Um, I'll just have to make the arrangements to uh, get a driver and see how that works out. My fishing partner, uh, he couldn't do it yesterday because uh, he was working. So um, I got to try to, you know, kind of work with schedules. So we'll see. Um, yeah. Oh, and the good news. The good news is that, that I found out I might not have to end up going out there to Vancouver. Uh, the services that I, that I was that I'm looking to get um, that might be there might be some other options. So I'm crossing my fingers because I really don't want to go out there. I don't like it out there, guys. It's rainy. I mean, it rains all the time, like all the time. So. Yeah, I, I don't want to, and you never know, like it could be, like it is right now, nice outside, next thing you know, it's pouring, <laughs> and it's funny because if you're watching the news, they'll, they'll say, well, there's a thunderstorm coming today, a thunderstorm to them out there, guys, is just maybe one crackle. You know, um, matter of fact, the whole time I was out there, I didn't even really notice any thunderstorms. Like, I noticed rain. I noticed, uh, you know, a lot of rain, but no loud thunder, no lightning, just rain. That's it. Rain, rain, rain. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are good. Jerry. Cousin Jerry, Justice, and all you guys, um, I'm going to go down, check the mail, see if we got any mail back, stuff going on. I'm hoping we do. Um, I hope we get some letters or something for Mail Back Friday this week, this Friday. I'm hoping, anyway. So, we'll go see, see how that works out, and, uh. I'll be back here later on again to talk with you guys. I might be at the lake. When I do that next video, I'm not sure where I'll be. So, because uh, I do like to get out. I like to do different things. So, yeah. <clears throat> it's a little breezy out. Well, not cold, but I mean like windy. You know what I mean. Um. But yeah, anyways, you guys, I will be back here later on. Had to do my uh, morning video with you guys. Start the day. Have my coffee. Get woke up. Motivated. <laughs> so, yeah. And I don't know if, if I'll do anything. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you guys. Um, let me go show you guys something. So... 
I was thinking yesterday, and I was like, I wonder what the code is. I wonder what it is. Right here, keyless entry, right? Guys, I came up to this thing, and I pressed this one right here. I went two, 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 two. Or three. That's actually three because one, two is the top one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So I did three, 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 three. The damn thing unlocked. So I had to figure out how to get the cat the, the factory code um on this. And to get the factory code on these, by the way. Just in case, I don't know if you guys ever, you know, if you know anybody ever has one that, and this works on the Explorers and the Mountaineers. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you exactly how you get the factory, the factory key code. Um, okay. Now, this is the middle seat. You have to go to the back seat. See this? Now what I did was I got up in here. I'm, I'm going to show you guys. Hold on. I got up in here like this. See this? You got to pull this off. When you pull this off, you then take part of this and pull it back a little bit and hold it. And there's a box right behind this. On that box is the factory code to the vehicle's keyless entry. Okay? Because here's the thing. I needed to change. Now let me get out of this. I forgot I had this option here. I can... I can do this and make it much easier. There we go. Um, get my ass out of here. There we go. To change the code, even though I knew that second code, because you can have two codes. You have you have two codes on here. Okay. You've got two codes. You got the factory code, and then you've got um, let me get back up here. Don't want to sit on my coffee. You've got the factory code, and then you've got a custom code. Now somebody set their code as that number, and all I can say is I don't know why anybody would ever set their number as just uh, 33333. I mean, yeah. So, anyways, you got to have the factory uh, keyless entry code to, to set or reset that second code. And so that's what I did. I had to get the, the factory code and then I reset the second code. So now there's uh, two codes. Um, the reason they do that is for the seat adjustment. You can adjust your seat. And then let's say for the, okay, let's say for the first code. All right. And you got a short driver. All right. And then the second person, they're tall. You can set the second code. To where when that person puts their code in, as soon as they put their code in and unlock it, it's, it adjusts their seat to the way they want it. Now, honestly, I don't think mine has that option for the uh, memory for more than one uh, person for seat settings. I think that's on like the limited edition or something. Um, 
So, anyways, that's what I did yesterday. Um, and I'm actually proud of myself. I did it myself. I didn't know if I'd be able to take that stuff apart or not. I never messed with anything in the back before. I'm like, oh, gosh, I'm going to break something or mess something up. No, it worked out. So, anyway, you guys, I will be back here later on. Remember, if you ever know anybody that has a Ford Explorer or a Mountaineer, uh, they, that's how they can find their code. So, there you go. I'll be back later, guys. I love every one of you guys. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back soon.